Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is Thinking in Stability and Change, level one, it's on stability and change. When you're investigating stability and change, you always want to define the system that you're investigating. But what we're really trying to see is what's the difference between a system that's stable and a system that changes. The object that represents stability and change is this semicircle because if I put it on a table one way, it'll change quite a bit over time. If I put it the other way, it's gonna be very stable. And so this is a good way to think about stability and change. And actually defining stable, if something is stable as far as a system goes, it's a system that doesn't change over time. And so change is just when a system becomes different and when it becomes different over time. And so we'll look at systems and say, how are they stable? How are they changing? But more importantly, what's the rate of change? Are they changing very quickly? Are they changing slowly over time? And so after this video, you should be able to identify stability or stable and change in something like these three hourglasses or even in these events that we would find on our planet. We're gonna start by having me show you my thinking around stability and change in an alarm clock. And then uh, I'll give you a chance to do the same thing as we look at different objects that are falling off onto a plate. So let me clean this up and then we'll get started. All right, the first object that we're gonna look at is going to be this alarm clock. So let me define the system. So the system is going to be the alarm clock. The first thing we're gonna look for are what are some things within the alarm clock that are not changing? In other words, that they stay the same over time. So when I look at this, I think things that stay the same would be the case around the outside. What are some other things that remain the same? These little legs that it sits on are gonna allow it to be stable and they're not gonna change. And even the numbers on it are not gonna change. So let me list some of the things that are stable within the system. And now within the system, let me try to figure out what are some things that are changing within the system. So the things that jump out right away are just going to be the, the, the hands of the clock. And so let me write those down. So the things that I see in the system that are changing would be the second hand. So that's going to be this one that's kind of moving around. We can see it really, really quickly. The minute hand is going to be the longer one and we can see it barely start to move as the second moves around. And then we finally have the hour hand. And so we've got things that are changing over time. We could speed up the video and we could see that take place. Now, the last thing that we should do after we have identified what stays the same, what changes, now we're gonna think about the rate of change. How fast are these things changing? And it's gonna be a relative rate. So let me write those down. So within the system of the alarm clock, we have parts that are stable, like the outside, the face, and the feet. We have things that change, the hands from the second to the minute to the hour. And then on here, I've also showed the rate of change. So the second hand moves relatively fast, the minute hand moves slower, and then the hour hand is gonna move very, very slow. And so again, what are we looking at? We're looking at things that change and then things that remain stable over time. So now let me clear this off and I'm gonna let you show your thinking as we look at stability and change. Okay, for the second example, what I'm gonna do is just do a little demo here. We're looking at three different materials. And so what we've got inside, we've got a piece of wood, we've got a container, and then there are three different materials. This is silly putty. The silly putty is sitting in here. We've also got some purple slime, and then we finally have some glitter. So let me define the system. All right, so the system that we're studying are gonna be these materials. What I'll do is I'll tip it. And so as I tip it, you'll be able to see it from above. We'll be able to see the glitter hopefully falling off into this plate. So what I want you to do is watch very carefully as I turn it because you're gonna be thinking about things that remain stable and things that are gonna change. So let me start with the glitter. So hopefully you saw that from above. So it all dumped out really, really quickly. So that's gonna be the glitter. Next thing I'll do is I'll turn the slime on. So I've turned that. 
and so the slime should be moving out into the plate. You can see it's not moving out quite as fast. And then I could do the silly putty. So if I put it like this, you can see in both of these, we don't see much change. There's not much change in them. They, they appear to be fairly stable. But let me clean these out of the way and I'm gonna show you a time-lapse video of the same thing. Okay, what I have here is a time-lapse video. What I did is recorded uh, me tipping these over earlier. And so what we've got is glitter. So we'll watch that and there'll be four seconds of that. But for the other two, I've sped up the video. So we'll take a look at that. So this is the glitter. We've got four seconds of the glitter. You can see that's kind of a better angle at it. Now here's slime. I used time-lapse and we're reviewing this over. You can see one whole hour of time. And now this is Silly Putty. We're looking at this over a 24 hour period of time. So you can see that sometime things will change, but it takes so long for them to change that you don't actually see it. And so certain things are really fast, like this glitter, but certain things are gonna be a little bit slower. So do they change? Yeah, they change, but they change at a rate that we can't always see. So let me move this out of the way and let's, uh, hold on, let me pause. <laughs> so if we pause for a second, what I'd like to have you do is fill out stability and change, what stays the same, what changes, and what's the rate of the change. And do that for the materials that I was just showing you. Do that for the silly putty, for the glitter, and then for the um, slime. And then once you've filled it out, unpause the video, come back, and then we'll see how our thinking uh, kind of compares. Okay, the first thing I would think about, since this is our system, are what are things that are going to remain stable throughout that whole time? So let me list those out. So the things that I see staying the same are the wood block, the plastic cube that the material sits in, and then the white plate is not changing at all. Now let me think about the things that are actually changing in this system. So the three things that I see changing are the glitter just falling out of the plastic onto the plate. We see the slime over time flowing into the plate. And then finally we have the silly putty moving. Now the last thing that I have to do is I have to start thinking about the rate. Which of these move fast and which of these are going to move slow. So let me start with glitter. So the glitter moves relatively fast. It just falls out onto the plate. If we think about the slime, again, it took a whole hour for that to flow onto the plate. I would say that's slow. And then if we think about the silly putty moving, it still moves, it's still changing, but it's very, very slow. All right, so that is stability and change, things in a system that remain the same and things that are gonna change. One thing hopefully you've realized is that we really have to sometimes speed it up. So it depends on what our reference frame is before we can figure out what's changing. So I've shown you my thinking. Now I'd love to have you try to use this thinking slides below to show the same thing with these three connected hourglasses or think about the earth science. Start looking at three events, what's staying the same, what's changing, and then rate, what's the rate of change in those. So that's stability and change. That's lesson one, and I hope that's helpful.